Hi there, this is Tiffany Corder from Fee Louise Designs. I'm here to show you my prototype for Open Source Ecology mobile app. Within this app, you will see firstly a home page that holds the main header with the Open Source Ecology logo along with a search filter below that will filter out all the below links to the site's pages. Below that is an overlay of some of the GVCS 50. That is also clickable and will bring you to the GVCS site. Under that is a description of what the GVC is and what it's about. Then we have the eight navigational links that will lead the user to the pages they require. About, GVCS, videos, blog, wiki, forum, join us and contact us. Let's first, go up to the About page features. first and check out its features. Firstly, you will notice that all of the pages have the same header as the main page. Below that is a link back to the home page that will be on every page as well. Below is the heading showing what page you are on. The content in the about page is simple and to the point. We have three drop downs that have to do with what OSC is and who is involved within it. First is the about drop down that explains what OSC is. I've included the logo inside this of course as well. Under that is the development team along with a link to the development team wiki page. Below that is the core team drop down and within that are the drop downs for all of the core team members with their own images and the information along with their personal emails. Back at home, let's explore GVCS. This page also has three drop downs, machines, parts, and tools. This is where the magic happens of this site being mobile. Inside machines, you will see the tabs for different types of machines, and when you open them, you can also see that it shows their image, information, and a link to the assembly instructions. I feel like this is really the core of the application, as having all that information sent to their mobile phone or tablet enables them to have the information available to them right at their fingertips. Let's check out the blog page. Here, I have also made a drop-down theme. Notice they are all sorted by the year they were made. When open, the headers for the link are the names of the blogs created, and once clicked, they lead you to that specific blog that was created. Below the blog page, on the home, is actually a link to the wiki page of Open Source Ecology. What I would like to do eventually is make a mobile version of this wiki page to fit into this mobile application. Next, we have the forum page. You will notice the sign in button on the forum header to the right. This is going to enable you to log in with your OSC username into the forums of Open Source Ecology and allow you to post. However, when you click sign in, a dialog box will pop up uh, and ask you for your username, password, and if you do not have those, below that it will ask you to sign up if you don't have an account with the forums. Below that you can see all of the tabs for the already made forums organized by the type of discussions inside each forums. When clicked, this will lead you to the forum that was created so you can read it or reply to it as well. Back at home, we are now at the Join Us page. Inside Financial this page, contributors, will have donations and sponsors, rules. employment, and visiting Factor eFarm. In Financial Contributors, you are able to contribute to OSE's projects. This is for the true fans of OSE. You have the option with a drop down to pick the type of monthly payment that you would like to contribute. Once submitted, you will have a dialog box pop up asking for your information. Donations and Sponsors explains the type of donations you can do. There is one tab for PayPal, and then three others for tax-deductible contributions, along with project sponsors and in-kind donations. All are explained in each tab with a contact link to get more information. Employment tab will always be filled with the types of employment available with OSE, along with information about what type of job and who to contact. Visiting Factor eFarm is a great tab that enables you to see how far you are from the visit. actual farm, along with information on how to make an appointment to visit. Finally, we have the last page that is our contact page. Contact Finally, us. inside, we have a simple form asking for your full name, email, along with your age, 
You will also be asked if you want to get email updates for OSE's projects and what's new with OSE. This by default will be yes unless changed by the user. Then the user can type on the leave a message part and leave a detailed message and send it. I do have to say I that this site to came together nicely and really represents OSC to its core. I felt keeping this application as simple as possible with a little flair was important. Here's a tester for this mobile site and his opinions on it. The site was fast and user friendly. I had a blast exploring all the information. I feel like I already knew the navigation of the site by instinct, which is important for any new application on the market. I loved the details in the GVC S50 page and how I was able to gain information about that piece and its assembly as well. Well, there you have it. A complete mobile application for OSC that really has all the core values that any mobile site should have. User friendly, fast, easy to use. Thank you so much for your time and I look forward to working with you.